Good Friday morning, everybody, live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. We've got some fairly quiet conditions into the rest of the morning and into the rest of the day, also looking pretty good. We also see, again, some minor problems with some rain chances as we go into the early portion of the rest of the weekend. Toward about Saturday, that's where we're looking at the potential for maybe some more scattered light showers coming our direction. We're just not seeing too much of anything major taking place at this time. So if you have any plans for outdoors, again, it doesn't look like anything major going on for right now, but we do still see, again, those potentials for maybe some scattered showers in and around the Mid-South area as we get into the course of the rest of the forecast. We'll talk more about that coming up here in just a little while, so stay tuned for more on that. If you have any plans for travel or know anybody who's traveling, definitely want to stick around and we'll give you some information on both the roadways and what's going on into and around the area of the airlines at this time. So far for Friday morning, again, things are working out pretty well, but we do have some, again, busy travel days ahead, especially as we get into Sunday. We'll talk more about that coming up here in just a little while. Otherwise, again, no major problems being seen out across much of the rest of the area. So thank you very much for joining us on the early edition of our News Channel 3 video weather blog, Weather Overtime. We'll talk again more about the complete forecast coming up here in just a little bit. Give me just a second to get our Facebook viewers in here for just a little bit. Assuming that connection holds, we should be going live on Facebook for right now on my Facebook page. That's facebook.com slash WREG if you'd like to see some more there. Complete update of the forecast and all the day's news coming up on News Channel 3 at noon with Nina Harrelson and of course Jim Jaggers will have your forecast coming up later on tonight, so stay tuned for more on that. Taking a look around the area, if you can't stick around for the entire forecast, this is what you're going to be looking at into the rest of the day. Again, conditions not doing too bad. We've got numbers back into around the mid to upper 50s by lunchtime, upper 50s into early this evening, and in between here and there, we may be looking for the potential of temperatures back into the lower 60s. It's the southwesterly winds that are going to be keeping our temperatures up for just a little bit, so we've got a very nice temperature difference for today. Pretty close to normal, maybe just a little bit above normal for this time of the year, but otherwise not looking too bad across much of the Mid-South. If you're joining us on Facebook, Twitter, or Periscope, please drop your location and your weather reports into the comments section section, no matter where you are in the Mid-South or beyond. Here's what it looks like on the National Park Service's website from some of the webcams around the D.C. area, the Potomac River, the monuments, the Capitol building of our nation's capital, beautiful autumn colors looking across the Potomac River on the National Mall cam. A little farther out west, early morning sunshine of Zion National Park. Again, a beautiful morning showing up out there with just a few high, thin clouds taking place there. A little closer to home, into and around the area of 240 in Poplar. Traffic is pretty light for a Friday given the holiday going on. A lot of people out and about doing some shopping for today or just getting some fresh air after all that turkey yesterday. So again, no major problems being seen where it comes to rainfall in and around the Mid-South. Uh, Julia Cavallo, welcome to our show on Facebook. Thank you very much uh, for stopping by. Likewise, everybody on Periscope and Twitter. View from around South Haven this morning in and around the area close to I-55 and Goodman Road. Looking good. Again, a few clouds drifting on through. Mostly sunny, again, with some of these clouds here and there from time to time. We're not seeing totally clear skies, but enough sunshine to make it a very nice and, more importantly, a very dry day across much of the area. Likewise, the view from in and around West Memphis, the 4055 junction area and everything in the way of traffic looks like it's moving along pretty nicely here. No visibility problems being seen. Little hazy out toward the horizon. Pretty close to normal for this time of the morning. We were down into the 30s. We are now back into the lower 50s around West Memphis for right now. And again, a few clouds here and there. Southerly winds now picking up to around 12 miles per hour. So we do have just a bit of a breeze across much of the rest of the area. 54 degrees right now on the quad in Ole Miss at the, quad, at the area around Oxford, Mississippi. Very dry. 38% humidity, rather comfortable out there for this morning as those winds have calmed down a lot, steadily at about 5 miles per hour so far. Airport delays as of about mid-morning, not seeing any major problems showing up at this time. Clear skies for the most part around Memphis International Airport and looking good out there for right now. 38 degrees, Julia Cavallo in Walls, Mississippi. Thank you very much for that. Beautiful day in around Cordova, Marine Meeks. Thank you very much. Uh, for tuning into the show for so far this morning. Green icon indicates, again, delays of 15 minutes or less and not seeing any problems at Memphis International or 
throughout the continental United States. Major and connecting airports are showing no delays at this time, so that's good news for any travelers out there. Probably going to be seeing more problems with backups going on as we go toward late Saturday and around early Sunday. So more information from the Federal Aviation Administration will bring that to you throughout the rest of the weekend, so keep it tuned to News Channel 3 there. On Storm Tracker 3S radar, not much of anything going on. Very dry conditions across the Mid-South. Things are very quiet out there and will continue to be so for now. We are looking for a new cold front arriving. It is back to our north and into the northwest area of the Plain States. This is going to be heading down our direction and it's going to be advancing toward the Mid-South throughout the rest of the day. It's very limited moisture, but it is our next cold front and this will be moving into the Mid-South giving us our next chance of rain. That'll be coming up into tomorrow morning pretty early. We'll talk more about that in the forecast in just a little bit, but again, as of right now, we're just not seeing much of anything in the way of travel problems. A little bit of rain and a few thunderstorms off the Georgia, Carolina, and Florida coast states into around New England, a few clouds north of Boston and New York, Great Lakes seeing some rain showers mixed with some light snow showers. Northern Plain states back over to around the area around the Cascades, not getting a lot of activity. Now a lot of this storm system did a very good job of bringing some very heavy rainfall to parts of the Pacific Northwest and they are still getting some pretty good amounts of showers taking place in this location, but other than that, things are remarkably quiet for this time of the year. This is the time of the year to where we can get some very big, very nasty type storms moving on through. And as of right now, very happy to report that we have little of anything going on at this time. So looking very quiet into much of the area as we go into the latter part of the holiday weekend. Lower to mid 50s, again, fairly cool, not exactly all that warm out there, but we'll be seeing again the potential for some milder conditions over the next few days. Stable temperatures, but dropping every once in a while, especially next weekend as we go into December. Doesn't look like winter time anytime soon. We'll take a look at that on the extended forecast in just a little bit. Live real-time WeatherNet 3 showing temperatures back into the lower to mid 50s so far at the mid 10 o'clock hour. And winds occasionally breezy at about 5 miles per hour plus, but otherwise no major amounts of wind out there. So wind chills also not really becoming a problem. But with these numbers and that breeze, you may want to think about a jacket just to be on the safe side. All right, let's run the numbers and get you going into the rest of the holiday. Through today, high temperatures will be back into around the mid to lower 60s. Heading into around tonight, we'll be looking at temperatures in the lower 50s around News Channel 3 at 6 and afterwards with Jim, Jim Jagger's forecast coming up there. As we get into around Friday, we should be seeing again temperatures going back into around the lower to mid 50s to mid to upper 40s through News Channel 3 at 10. Winds will continue out of the south until we get into tomorrow. Then you see that wind shift line coming on through. Northerly winds tomorrow behind that cold front. Ahead of that front, winds out of the southwest. And this thing will be passing through the mid-south right about the time we hit News Channel 3 daybreak tomorrow. Also, the possibility of some light showers developing and moving into the mid-south as we get toward late tomorrow morning early tomorrow afternoon. It does not look like a weekend washout, but you will see the potential of maybe a few raindrops on the windshield. So again, if your windshield wipers are operating during the day, make certain your headlights are on that state law. So let's make certain we're all safe out there. Mid to upper 50s to lower 60s by lunchtime briefly into the lower 60s for much of the Mid-South. Those northerly winds pushing on through will take the temperatures as they head upwards and turn them in the other direction. So some cooler weather heading our way as we get into tomorrow afternoon and evening. That dry air takes over tomorrow night. Chilly tomorrow night. News Channel 3 at 10 on Saturday. Lower to mid 40s and the chances of rain gone heading on down to the south. The chances of rain were not all that great to begin with so we're not seeing a lot out there from that. And then by early daybreak Sunday temperatures back in the low lower to mid 30s. Definitely on the chilly side. Hopefully some good sunrise shots out there. If you've got weather pictures, we'd love to see them, so please let us know and tweet them along to us, and we'll feature them on News Channel 3 Daybreak throughout the rest of the weekend. Temperatures tomorrow, uh, today in the lower 60s, also in the lower 60s tomorrow, briefly before the temperatures head downwards as that front begins to make its way into the area, and chances of rain mainly in the morning could linger into the afternoon as we get into around Saturday afternoon, but limited chances of that at best at this time. Big travel day coming up on Sunday. 
Not much to worry about right now where it comes to major storm systems in the area, so it should be smooth traveling where the weather is concerned, whether or not there's a lot of backup with human problems out there. That could be something to worry about. We'll keep you updated on that throughout the weekend, so keep it tuned to News Channel 3 there. Either way, a little bit cooler on Sunday. Not seeing too much of a problem out there. Getting back to work or school on Monday. Temperatures in the mid-60s, staying in the mid-60s for Tuesday. Next best chance of rainfall looks like it's going to be Wednesday into Thursday. Not seeing a lot of a problem out there for right now. For rain, 20-30% chance. It just doesn't look like all that much. Now, these numbers will change over the next several days, including the chances of rainfall either up or down. Keep it tuned to the weather experts, and we'll keep you updated on that. A little farther into the future, as we go toward next weekend, temperatures will be a little cooler next Saturday, mid to upper 50s there. Again, that's right about normal for this time of the year, so we're not looking at any huge heat waves, nor are we looking at anything in the way of big cool downs in the near future either. So it seems to be pretty stable throughout the next several days. So if you have any plans for outdoors Wednesday or Thursday for right now, that's going to be the worst of the worst where it comes to rainfall and it doesn't look all that bad at this point in time, but if you have plans for outdoors, this could be the next couple of days that you need to pay attention to what's going on with weather in the Mid-South. And of course, we'll keep you updated on that. Todd Demers will have more on his forecast coming up bright and early as we go into next weekend. Thanks to everybody at the very aptly named Toilet Bowl, the game tradition that's been going on in Memphis since 1973. It was originally invented by a church group in South Memphis to keep the kids occupied and out from underfoot as long as Thanksgiving dinner was cooking by the adults at home. And the current... Uh, incarnation of the toilet bowl as quagmire college and the dark shirts took on cesspool university in the white shirts it's just a good game of football which is played every thanksgiving morning in this case it was played at high point in memphis and the opportunity to get together do some trash talking and have some fun it's a good opportunity they invited me to be part of this as their official weather forecaster a long time ago so thanks a lot especially to mr landon willard the grand high poobah of this whole motley group of characters out there. Yesterday was the highest scoring football game in Toilet Bowl history, so congratulations to all the participants out there, and thanks to everybody for coming out for a great time on a beautiful Thanksgiving morning. If you'd like to know more about this, I'll be talking about this as we go toward next Thanksgiving, and if you want to come out and watch the festivities for some of the worst football you have ever seen, please make certain you join us for a great time. It'll be a good opportunity to see more there. More of my forecast available throughout the weekend on Country 92.5 and Oldie 102.3 and of course I'll be back on with Bob and Josh on their new time starting Monday morning 8 o'clock to 10 o'clock on AM 730 Yahoo Sports Radio. We'll keep you updated on what's going on with the weather throughout the rest of the forecast. Bob and Josh talk about sports mainly but they also do news, traffic, weather, a lot of community events, things like that. So if you'd like to get your day started on a very nice note, tune in to Bob and Josh on Talk Back Live and they'll keep you updated 8 to 10 a.m. Monday through Friday morning and of course the forecast by News Channel 3 with yours truly. That'll wrap it up for this edition of our exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime. Again, we'll have more updates tonight with Jim Jaggers on News Channel 3 throughout the evening through about News Channel 3 at 10. And of course, I'll have your forecast throughout the entire weekend. And Todd Demers will be back on the air bright and early into uh, Monday morning starting at 4.30 a.m. Stay tuned for more with News Channel 3 throughout the rest of the weekend on air and online. And thanks for joining us for today's update of News Channel 3's weather blog, Weather Overtime.